So the Biden administration considering new steps to counter the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade. The head of HHS today calling increased access to abortion pills a national, quote, imperative. As Vice President Kamala Harris confirms that the White House is looking at travel vouchers for those seeking the procedure across state lines. Let's bring in Fox & Friends weekend co-host Rachel Campos Duffy and Nomiki Kohn's host of the Nomiki, Con the Nomiki Show, excuse me, and a Democratic candidate for New York's state Senate. Good to have both of you here. Um, Rachel, let me start with you. you. You know, your reaction to, we knew that obviously there would be some answer from the White House and the administration in terms of how they would effort to get around this decision by the Supreme Court. And there will be some things that will fall into their legal purview and ability to be able to do. Yeah, well, you just had a very interesting and fiery discussion with Ben Dominich and Jose mm -hmm. about liberal policies wrapped up in compassion that are anything but compassionate. Women who find themselves in an in a unexpected crisis pregnancy, um, they don't want to ride to the abortion clinic to kill their child. What they want is support um, and love. And they want that primarily from the men in their lives. Um, you heard Kamala Harris's comments about young men needing abortion. Um, this is encouraging exactly the kind of irresponsibility and lack of, um, of taking ownership for what their participation in a pregnancy. So that's a culture change we need to talk about. Um, they need support from their families, from their community, but also from their government. Um, there's a program in Pennsylvania, Mark, a lot of people don't know about it. It was put in place by Governor Casey when uh, when when Democrats could be pro-life. Um, it's a seven million dollar program by the government with state and federal funds, mostly state funds, to help women in need to provide pregnancy um, and parental support. It even has maternity homes. Who knew that those still existed mm -hmm. um, for women in need, um, young women in need who maybe were kicked out of a home or something yeah. like that. Um, well, these are the kinds of help and compassion that women need. Um, they don't need the trauma. Um, of abortion, and and this is a moment for pro-lifers to step up as well. They've been doing a lot of this work, but we need to do more of it. So, you know, uh, yesterday I said that I thought it was somewhat sad that states were sort of advertising themselves, Nomiki, as you know, you can come here, uh, you can come to our state for your abortion, um, and and really I was echoing the thoughts of. of President Biden back in 2006 when he said, you know, every abortion is, is a tragedy. But now the tone has changed completely on this. You know, people are, are told to shout their abortion, that it's something to be proud of and not to be, you know, I, I never have spoken to anyone who was excited or happy about it. Um, you know, I, I'm just wondering where, where we are right now in terms of compassion. And if you're pro-choice, wouldn't you be pro all of these options that Rachel just discussed in terms of ways to turn for help? Well, I, I love how Rachel talks about family planning clinics. When Republicans, the far right, extremist right, uh, very uh, religious groups that are getting tax breaks, have been arguing in state legislatures across the country to shut down family planning clinics, and that's why I federal funds should be put into clinics. that. I'm sorry, it's you, my turn, Rachel. Rachel, it's my turn. You, you had your chance to say your talking points. Rachel, okay, so if you're listening right now and you believe that a woman, and you believe in compassion, a woman should have the right to choose what to do with their body and their lives. Because how many people in this country right now are at risk of losing their lives because they have an ectopic pregnancy? Because there are states that are being controlled by right-wing legislatures that are now f making ectopic pregnancy termination illegal. That is a medical ri well, risk. What that we, is what actually we saw from, I'm just going to jump amendment. in for a second because I want to play something. Uh, well, but every every state will have the right okay. to vote on and to approve these through yeah. their legislature because and that's what wrong. the Supreme Court did. And well, it's if you don't cruel, believe in and democracy and, and people's mothers. ability to make decisions and you vote for people who they want to represent them, um, then, you know, that, yeah. that, that's, that's a well, whole different I, country I, that I you want to live in. I that a woman should have so the right I, I to make like a to, choice about their uh, own body. Rachel, give me a second. Okay. You've had your time and you have your control right now. Let me tell you something. As someone who's had an abortion, if I didn't have that, I would have died. And there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of women across this country who are victims of rape, domestic violence, who are, who are well, forced into- Well, there isn't into... really anything that we have heard so far well, that would prevent those women I, from finding a place where they yes, could, it is. could absolutely take care of it. Yes, it is. Go to Missouri. Missouri. Okay, Missouri. Okay, you, you, you said you that you wanted it to be your turn. So now I'm going to go back let, to Rachel let and let it be her her turn because I've got Thank about you. 15 seconds. You've got just the floor, Rachel, 15 I, this seconds. This is what it's about. It's about punishing yes. women. Well, I, I just today, 
interviewed Ryan Baumberger, who was conceived through rape, oh, a man who will tell you that his life has value. Um, he was an amazing Great man. He was Great adopted. Anecdote. And I will just say this. I will just say this. Violence is never the answer. All oh, lives matter, including the unborn. Oh, you have no comments about guns. When children are killed, you don't want to regulate guns. Are you? Is this okay. ridiculous? All right. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you both. She I am totally out of time. No, Miki. Okay. Uh, Rachel oh, Campos, great Duffy, thank you, you for are. being here. Woof. That's the story. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Have a good evening. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.